Hi friends. Um, yesterday we were in the chapel. Today is a little bit tougher. You all may not know this room. Um, your parents might be able to help you figure out which one we're in, but we are still in the church. Um, today's story is a little bit tougher. Today is Good Friday. Um, and it's the day that we remember when Jesus died. And the story is a little bit violent and a little bit hard to hear. It often makes me cry and often makes me a little scared. I think it's important though to have this day, to have this day that's a little bit hard it's a little bit scary. It's a little bit confusing and overwhelming. And instead of trying to make it better right away, in the church we try to sit with it for today and for tomorrow and even a little bit through Sunday morning. So even if you're a little scared or a little bit sad, know that that's okay. Let yourself feel whatever you feel when you hear the story and let yourself sit with it and know that it's always okay to be sad. Today again we're reading from the Children of God Storybook Bible The Trial and Death of Jesus. After Jesus' last supper with his disciples, they went out to the Garden of Gethsemane. Jesus stayed awake, praying alone. Suddenly, soldiers surrounded them and arrested Jesus. They accused him of trying to become king. At his trial, the Roman ruler, Pontius Pilate, asked, Are you the king of the Jews? My kingdom is not of this world, answered Jesus. Set him free, said Pilate. This man has done nothing wrong. But some of the people were angry. He called himself a king, they shouted. Crucify him. To please the crowd, Pilate ordered the soldiers to beat Jesus and then to kill him. They whipped him and made fun of him. Pretending he was a king, they put a crown of thorns on his head and a red cloak around him. Then they made him carry a heavy wooden cross to a hill outside the city. They nailed Jesus to the cross. His mother Mary and several other women wept at his feet and stayed with him until the very end. Then Jesus prayed to God one last time before he died, Father, forgive them, for they do not understand your dream. Amen.